Welcome back to Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke Randomizer. Uh, nothing suspicious there, so we're gonna go down and down a little bit more. We're gonna enjoy a day on the beach with our three Pokemon: Toro, Judo, and Lou. Rest in peace, man. I'm still I'm so sad about it. I was in my math class today, and I actually got the name Manhens from my uh, pre-calc teacher because one. One of the math methods methods he taught us was called man hands, where you cover part of the equation with your hand, so you just pay attention to one part at a time. And so that's where I got the name for man hands. So when I went to class, I I just, I just got sad. Like I legit got sad. I was just like, ah. so that's that's basically how I feel. We're gonna take the experience share and we're gonna give it to Lou because it seems like. It may need it more than anyone else. Uh, I'm gonna just go to battle with Judy Dead and uh, Toro for right now, but uh, Lou will get his chance. Its chance. Alright, so if you go talk to this guy, he gives you words of wisdom. He's like, the water around these parts are clean. But I get my Zuzuzun to pick up litter from the shoreline at times. Dirty water becomes rain and joins our rivers, which we drink from. If we pollute the sea, it all comes back to haunt us eventually. And she's so like, wow, wow. Well said, bald hippie. Um, which is good. You shouldn't let her anyways. Anyways, we have a double battle right here. Which I really like double battles. Uh, I Not really, little girl. Beach umbrellas don't look like flowers, to be honest. I, I'm just saying. Alright, so it's just... Oh, look, they look alike. So there will be some water types. But actually, Azuril is a normal type, in case you didn't know that. I want to take out that Tentacruel because it could be a douche. It could poison stuff. We don't want any of that. And brings on another one, but fortunately Jude to Death isn't good enough to take it out. But Jude to Death will now. So it's okay. Wow, you you two don't have good Pokemon choices. You don't see me have two Geodudes. Cause that would be pretty much pointless. Level 10, good job, Blue. You didn't do anything. H how did you. Okay, this is bounce around and it's small, so. I'll let you have that one, Geo Dude. Uh, Geo Dude evolves on 25, I believe, and we can't get a golem, unfortunately, but it, it is what it is. And I got a number from a 6 year old. That's. Uh, that's just wrong. Alright, Zigzagoon. Actually, after this battle, I want you to do that. To, to, uh, I, now I got a six-year-old little boy's number. Oh my god, pedophile on the beach. I want you to do that to get some experience. So we're going to use her. You battle? No, you're just like, give out the little saying for that little company. Meryl! Judude! Sorry, it's a female Judude. Judude! <laughs> I always like that. Kind of, it's. Well, in a lot of animals, like, I know for sure spy. Wow, that was scary. Especially, like, in spiders, how the female's bigger. I, I, I kind of like that. It's kind of cool, Dot. Alright, Judude, we need to go get you healed up. You're not gonna give me your number two, are you? Thank you. I forgot how to move. Oh yeah, the arrow keys. Duh. Back on the beach. Um. Is all that left is. To f oh, I could have had a double battle right there. All right, we just got these two sailors left. I think they have match hops and stuff. I'm hoping not, but they. I'm pretty sure they do. Okay, no, that's a wingle. Mother goose! Holy crap! 2 HP, holy crap. Ah. <laughs> uh, I almost had a heart attack. I'd be down back to two Pokemon. Alright, matchup. You're going down. 
Tor levels up slowly, but he's really strong, so that's good. Now for this guy. <laughs> Battle with me? Um, kind of rude to burp in my face, sir, but whatever. Do I want to test my luck? Yeah, because it's using wing attack. Ooh. Oh. Alright, we need to watch out for those sneaky flying types that use water moves. Alright, so in here what we do is fight the three trainers, and that guy will start selling soda to us. Which is kind of rude. I, can I just, like, go and pay? No, he's like, you gotta defeat all these trainers! I'm like, alright. I guess. Uh, I'm not afraid of no Azuril, so... Especially when I use magnitude level 8. It's pretty hardcore stuff. Oh wait, no, I want to switch out ma for Meryl. Hell... No, am I fighting you to, uh, due to that? Yeah, I had a feeling I'd use Defense Girl first anyways, but... Still, I, I'm not gonna risk it. This... You don't do a Nuzlocke on to risk your Pokemon's life, because you wouldn't do that in real life. You'd want them to, like, stay safe and not injured. So that's why I withdrawed. Dude, did that. I don't know why I gave that huge explanation. I didn't really need to do that. I'm pretty sure you guys knew why, because obviously it would die otherwise. But you know, I'm weird. Beauty Joanna would like to battle. Goldine, Goldine. I'm not afraid of any Goldine. Magnitude 8. Level 17. Life is good. Alright, so next we have that Sailor. What does Soul Rock know? Lou. I mean, that's our Celtic Sun God. Confusion. Alright, I want to see what Lou could do in battle. Testing out with this guy. Let's see. Alright, I think as long as that thing does not use Water Gun, we're good. <laughs> I'm risking my Pokemon's life, but, you know, uh... Okay, whew! Good job, Lou. Rock throw, nice! Screw it. We could do this. <laughs> yeah! Dude, Lou is gonna be awesome on our team. Oh man, confuse me. I actually wasn't going to record Emerald today, but Mr. Taco King needs help with his Emerald series. He doesn't know how to do sidebars or anything, and I figured, like, no, I'll record an episode, and then I'll make a video just to show him on how to use Paint.net to, like, edit the sidebar and how I add it to Camtasia. So, yeah. Okay. Ah. Whew, okay, I was scared there for a second. Not really. <laughs> You're scorching hot, and I'm just like, whoa! Stop right there! I am 10 years old, you look like you might be in your late 30s. Let's, let's just stop right there. And he's like, those battles blazed! And then he takes the smoke from his joint, and I'm like, oh, I see what kind of business you have here. I'm more than dissatisfied. God, this guy is creepy! <laughs> Thanks for showing me your hot streak. I showed you no such thing. And then he gives you half a dozen bottles of soda pop in capital letters. Soda pop! You gotta like yell it. And I'm like, cool. Soda pop's really good, so. Unfortunately, you have to buy them each bottle by itself. I think it's basically the equivalent of a super potion. I think super potions might cost more. Yo, traders! Whether you're hot to try or cool can't not, chill at my papa spot. Your dad is a pedophile! And, yeah, that's all I got to say for that. Alright, next up on our objective list, if you go over here, there's a lighthouse. Ooh, hey, 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 hey! I don't even see a light in that little time. <laughs> that lighthouse is like twice my size. That's an embarrassment to all lighthouses. Usually in a lighthouse, you can walk inside of it. 
and gold, silver, and crystal. You can walk inside a lighthouse. This is not a lighthouse. This is a pathetic pawn from a chess game. Yeah. Insulted you. Uh, the name raider's in the town, but we don't need to do that. Steven Stern shipyard, Steven. Steven has a shipyard suddenly. We want to go in here and we go talk to this guy, this nerd. Um, if this goes here and that goes over there, then where does this thing go? You obviously should not be working here if you don't know what to do. And what about that doohickey? You don't even know what these things are called. Who hires you kind of people? Arrgh, I can't make heads or tails of it. I don't know why you got hired in the first place. You should go work at 7-Eleven. Oh, and your name is Doc. That is probably the only reason you got hired here. Because your name is Doc, and this is a boating place. So you get hired because you have a name that matches the place. And this is the Pokemon universe. And this is why the Pokemon universe makes no sense. This is why Pokemon Logic was created. To make fun of things like this. Captain Stern commissioned me to design a ferry. Now, yeah, these are Devin's goods. I brought you some marijuana. Not like you need any. Ah. Uh, so basically you find out that you came here for no reason. And so you storm out. You kick this canoe. I was going to kick the old lady, but that seemed very aggressive. And you're like, wasn't there any hooligans right here? And so you go, I'm like, what is this place? The end of sea sustains all life. Oceanic. Oceanic. Oce How do you say that word? Oceanic? Is that right? And they charge you to walk in here. Which is why it took forever to get these guys in here. And you walk in, and you talk to this guy, and he's like, Whoa! I leave! What are you doing here? I'm the Team Aqua member you thumped. And I'm like, I did no such thing. And he's like, Yo, I'm going to give you a TM that will help you on your journey, even though I'm your enemy. And then he's like, I hope I never see you again. And then he quits Team Aqua. You just ruined someone's career. Do you walk upstairs, and you're like, I need to heal some Pokemon. No, actually, no, I think I'm good. So you walk over here, and you're like, yo, you, and he's like, yes, you're looking for Cern? that would be me. He just knows who we are, by default. And he's like, oh, thank you, and then some hooligans jump in, and we're going to speed this up. Hold it! We'll take those parts. Wh what? Who are you people? We're Team Aqua. A boss wants those parts. Shut your gap and fork them over. And then he decides to battle us. And like, all right, I, I could handle this. He says that a Carvana. Oh my, like, that's it? Confusion, it does not affect Carvana. So we're like, oh man, use rock throw. And then this battle's pretty much in the back from here. And when we think things are over, he's like, what a disaster. Boss is gonna be pissed. And this guy's like, huh, let me take care of this. Cause he's obvious he obviously thinks he's better than the rest of Team Aqua, so he's gonna try to prove himself right here. He's like, oh, Zubat! And I'm just like, ha! Huh? Take out that Zubat. And then, another Carvana. I don't know why I'm like, <laughs> showing so much aggressiveness right now. Why did I do that? Obviously, that does not work on the dark type. And then Lou is level 15. Good job, Lou. What? I lost two? Kinda. You're just a Team Aqua grunt. Not a Team Aqua brute. Or elite. I'm, I just realized those are kind of Halo references. I wasn't really trying to do that. I was trying to make just higher class references. I don't, I don't care. Arr, I didn't count on being meddled by some meddling kid. You and your stupid giant stone rock. What? <laughs> and then this guy is like, Arg, Matty, I'm Jack Sparrow. I came to see what's taking so long to snatch some parts. And you, simps, are held up by me, your child. We are Team Aqua, ARG, and we love to see. And I'm Team Aqua's leader, ARG, Archie. What makes you in a fear of us? No, you can't be. You're not one of Team Magma. Wait, that can't be right. You're not dressed up for the part. Pokemon, people, all life depends on the sea. So Team Aqua is dedicated to the expansion of the sea. Don't you agree? What we're doing is a magnificent undertaking. Ah, fine. You're still too young to understand. Our noble objective. But I warn you! Don't even consider interfering with our plans again! The consequences will cost you dearly! And don't you forget it! You're, uh, okay, you're Hatch. 
Anyway, that was a tense situation. Thank you for saving us. Oh yes, I almost forgot that you even brought the parts from Devin! And then I give him the marijuana and he's like, I'm gonna go smoke this with my girlfriend. Don't tell my wife though. And then he's like, I gotta go. Feel free to wander around and check our facilities though. Because if you step out and try to step back in, they'll charge you an extra 50 bucks. And then he kills our Pokemon because suddenly he's a doctor. These are some old computers. Um, you can see a boat here, some marine, and some sphere type thing. There's nothing really too interesting in this place. You could go there. Oh, it's a model of the Hoenn region. <laughs> Where's Little Root Town? That's obviously where it should be located. But there's nothing really too special about this place. Hmm. So we just leave. Are those fish? Oh. Cool. Alright. Then we step out. And we're just like, oh. Oh, here's this guy. Howdy! I'm sure I've met you somewhere before. Have I introduced myself to you? If not, my name's Scott. I just saw Team Aqua run away. From here, they like stung. Let me guess, you drove them away? Hmm, maybe just this trainer. Alright, I think you're gonna become a good friend. Let's, here's my phone number. You should call me sometime. And I'm just like, what's with the pedophiles in this region? What I like to do is tag along with you. But I do want to keep an eye on the talents of other people too. So I'll be off roaming other towns. So basically he just wanted to like follow us around, which is even creepier. So I'm glad he, there's other kids he could stalk for now. Hopefully we don't run into the guy again. We go to the Pokemon Center. Heal up our Pokemans. And dang, this video is already past 16 minutes. I did not notice. Um, basically, what else is in this town? We got Name Raider. We got a Battle Tent. I'm not gonna. Oh, hey, if it isn't Hatch, Hatch, let me guess. You're gonna take the Battle Tent Challenge. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a really great idea. After all, a top trainer is the perfect fit for the Battle Tent. Give it your best effort. And I'm just like, dang it, I hate that guy. Anyways, I'm not gonna do the Battle Tents, but, um,. Pokemon Flying Club, there's some shops down here. Basically stuff that you don't really need. You can't talk to this guy yet. This chick. She oh yeah, she's I thought there was a berry chick type thing. She uses the power jar. And, you know, use the berry crush machine and stuff. And doesn't matter. Uh the guy I've got all these people so what do you sell? Might as well just go to it. Oh yeah, he just hey and cool. This guy could sell you drugs. <laughs> like, literally, that's pretty much what those are. She'll, like, tell you if your Pokemon likes you or not. And this guy sells you toys. Yeah, I wasn't kidding. He, he sells you toys. Alright, so that we're pretty much done with Slateport City. I don't think there's anything else we could do. This guy would talk about natures. She talks about nothing important. This house doesn't even have a door. Um, those are cool looking boats. We've been there. Yeah, we're pretty much done with this place. If we want to get something from the Mart, we can. This place will come in place later on. So next time, we'll be going on Route 110. Make sure you follow me on Twitter right now for the latest updates on the Hatch Generation.